Hey, it's Redshot and you are watching my MI8 autopilot tutorial. Using the autopilot is barely simple, but let's talk about the trimming first. If you look on the top left corner you can see my cyclic is over there. It is currently trimmed to that location. A little bit to the front, a little bit to the left. Now, when it comes to trimming with helicopter, we need to keep in mind it, uh, it's a different thing than trimming fixed wing aircraft. We are not trimming the ailerons, we are trimming the cyclic to a certain point. Basically, you going to move the cyclic to a certain point, you're gonna hit the trim, and the helicopter will lock that location for the cyclic. It is now trimmed to that location. As you can see, if I hit trim again, it's gonna be over there. Now the important thing when you you're using the trim is that let's say I'm going to trim over here. When you're going to trim, when you're going to hit the trim. You need to you need to release you need to release the cyclic to back to the neutral back to the center. If you don't, this will happen. I'm gonna hit the trim, and you can see it pop to the left because I'm still holding the joystick. I'm still holding the joystick on to the left, so I need to release now in center. As you can see, the trimming is holding that location of the cycle. Okay, let's do it again. Going to trim to, let's say, right over here. And I'm not going to release my joystick. Look what happens. I'm going to hit the trim now. There pop to the right so you need to as soon as you hit the trim you need to center the joystick back to neutral now this time I'm going to trim to the left and I'm going to release the joystick back to neutral here we go, trimming and it's neutral. Here we have the autopilot control panel. Here's the indication panel, which is the same thing you can see on the top right corner. We have the heading, we have the roll, pits and the altitude. Currently we have the roll and pitch channel on, which should be always on. Why? It's because it gives you this thing called stability augmentation. And what it does, that when you are trimming the helicopter, the trim will be much more smoother. If you don't have it on, everything will be really rough. Here we have the heading autopilot on and off. Altitude autopilot on and off. From here you can select the heading, roll and pitch and altitude. Also if you want you can change the color of the autopilot channel. Now let's start with the roll and pitch autopilot. You can use them from the control panel but I have binded those to my joystick now I can program the autopilot to roll to the right or roll to the left and if you look on the top right corner you can see how much work the channel is doing to make and maintain that roll what I have selected likewise nose down and no sap. Uh, 
I'm just programming the auto power channel so I'm not touching to the jack. Now let's turn up the heading autopilot. You already see it's active. You can use it from the control panel, but I have bound it to that my joystick. I can order the heading autopilot to turn to the left. You can see how much work the autopilot channel is doing to make and maintain that heading which I selected. Now, let's say we want to go like over there. I'm going to press the heading autopilot much to the left and you can see this indication it's popping up. It means that the heading autopilot is turning the uh, pedals to the left. Make the turn. Here we go, coming to the selected heading, you can see, turning to the right, and now the indication is back, back again, and it's turning the pedals to the right to maintain this heading. Now also, I'm going to press the pedal to the left, you can already see that the heading autopilot is deactivated right now. It's because I'm bringing the left pedal. Now, what will happen when I release the pedal is that smoothly and gently I will release the pedal, is that as soon as I will release the pedal, the heading autopilot will select that heading what we are currently facing and it will start maintaining that heading. Likewise, again, let's turn to the right, pressing the right pedal. Let's say we want to go over there. Release the pedal and the autopilot. Selected that heading and it's maintaining that heading for us. And we also have the altitude autopilot. You can see it's already activated. It's making that much work to maintain this selected selected altitude. You can change the altitude if you want. Let's go up. And we are going up. And also can go down. There we go, that's the uh, autopilot. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.